I'm gonna go see my friends, dude. We'll then go see your friends. Oh, Jesus Christ. Good morning, everyone. Flashbang here. <laughs> if you get that reference here, you're f***ing OG. Alright, before we get started, alright, let me drop the kids off at the pool real quick, alright? My bad. Alright, sorry about that. Good morning, everyone. This is Aldwin. Uh, here to give you guys the most recent scoop. Um, scoop from yesterday. There really isn't much going on, but before this video started, I actually, I was at work. Just a nice little morning shift, something quick, and uh, we're free for the rest of the day. So, yes, uh, we're gonna have a bit of, have a little bit of fun. Surf through the day like a surfer would in a beautiful Florida day. It makes no fun. Alright, I'm not gonna make the video about this yet. Uh, well, I'm, I might, I might make the video. Jesus. I might make the video eventually, but I'm, I'm not yet. Your boy is starting to collect Funko Pops. Obviously, come on, WWE. WWE is a W. It's got a, it's got a W in it. Come on, man. Whoever put a thumbs down on WWE on that one video, nah, you're an L. No, I'm kidding. Point is, I love WWE. I've always wanted to be a collector. I've always wanted to collect something interesting, and I've always wanted to collect something interesting that's like near and dear to my heart, you know what I mean? And WWE is one of those things. I love WWE stuff, so. You guys kind of saw like a half second clip of it, but me and Chris went to uh, GameStop, and we decided to just look around. He got some Funko Pops, and then uh, I, I completely forgot that WWE does Funko Pops as well, so I found some Funko Pops for me. I found this one. This one was the first one. This is the Ted DiBiase. Uh, million dollar man the only i guess quote unquote problem i have with this is that this doesn't have the million dollar belt i gotta take out the tags for these but point is ron Strowman. this is the most recent one too because he's got the red pants and uh, he's got the nose piercing so these are the first two that i have uh of many more the nice thing about these two is that like it's, it's cheap it's not like it's expensive i'm sure some of them get really expensive you know what i mean when you get to like the really popular ones or like the you know the top superstars i'm sure it gets expensive but man i'm excited i'm gonna collect some funko pops and you know no, just it's gonna be a w all around back on the mainframe now yesterday you guys also it, it was in that little montage that i included dave's hot chicken is finally open me and chris were driving around yesterday i looked up at one of the billboards and then i saw now open and i'm like oh sh yes sir yeah we got easy access to dave's hot chicken now the only thing i was disappointed about yesterday was that they didn't have they didn't have the mac and cheese which is all good they got me some chili fries or not chili uh cheese fries so perfect pre-workout meal oh yeah I I'm going to the gym after this, so. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, 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 we're, um. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. <laughs> we're, uh, oh, Marty, you gotta show yourself a little bit, too. I'm sorry, by the way, about the, the little alarm, the little alarm thing. It's gonna be, it's gonna be ringing just a little bit. But either way, today's video is gonna be all about. Move that. <laughs> Today's video is gonna be completely uncut, or like this part is gonna be completely uncut. We're just gonna be talking while we're eating some Dave's hot chicken, you know what I'm saying? Two days in a row. Two days in a row, they opened Thursday. Yes, yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they made a grand open yesterday, they opened on Thursday, a silent open. Yeah. And we're gonna be having a good time, just <clears> eating <throat> some chicken, just talking. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, we're both one shot in. What in one? One shot like, in. Come on, this shot? Like, yeah, we're, we're both one shot in, and uh, we're just just having to go. I gotta get a fork, bro. I'm not gonna lie. A fork for what? My mac and cheese. Ah. Yeah. Would you like some? Would you like a scoop? Sure. I was actually gonna order mac and here you cheese. Go, my friend. Fun fact: I don't like pickles, but I will actually eat it here with Dave's hot chicken. Like uh, in a sandwich. Yeah. Well, that too. But like, like let, like look. Because what's the difference? I just don't know. Like. I don't know. I'll eat it in a chicken sandwich. Sure. You feel me? Like, I feel you. Like, I'll dip it in their sauce like this. Oh that? yeah, that's that's that is. Oh. That is a that is a diabolical bite right there. Hold I don't on. like pickles, mm -hmm. but I'll eat it with days hot. Chicken. I like cucumbers because I can take that into places that uh, where the sun don't shine. You know what I mean? No, I don't know what you mean. He understood. Yeah. I can shove it in places where the sun oh. shine. Oh yeah. So I'm trying the cheese fries right now. Mmm. The fries are pretty good. You know, Stop texting. Turn your freaker on, bro. My bad, my bad, my bad. All day, be like, 
Stop texting me. Stop ringing. You know, but he has his ringer on, bro. Dang. <laughs> Simple solution. Turn your ringer off. Like you see, you see like the the, the thing here. Just turn it off. Dang. <laughs> oh god. Boom. Mind explosion. Um, so I got two sliders this time around. I don't know if you got something different. I got a slider. Okay. And a tundra. So I got two sliders today. Yesterday, I got one slider and one chicken tender. Ooh. I was smacking on, on, my, on my PC while I was playing with Hudefo. Mm -hmm. Shout out Hudefo, my G. And like, we were playing Fortnite because we were bored. Mm -hmm. And I was like, man, this thing is busting. And like, <laughs> I could hear you smacking on that thing. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, bro. Because it's good. Honestly, I can see the hype around this. This is my second time having it. Like yesterday was my first time, and like I you've never had Dan's chicken before. No, when we went to Minneapolis, I never had it. Hmm. Raisin, raisin canes is what I had. I can't open this. I need scissors. Because I've been following this. Like I've been following Dan's hot chicken for the longest time, right? And are you are you okay? He's he Christian's not okay, ladies and gentlemen. However, <laughs> I have been. I've been following Dave's Hot Chicken for the longest time, for like six, seven, or eight years. And it's cool that they finally made this into a franchise. Oh yeah, he's definitely not okay. I'm okay. What are you talking about? <coughs> nah. Oh, I think you were talking about me. No, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm already behind there. Oh, okay. mm. It's just too delicious, man. I didn't want to go crazy today. I didn't want to do uh, what I did like a few episodes ago where I, I, uh, I, I did the Reaper. No, no, don't get the copyright, man. Bro, I just opened the, I just opened Instagram. Just opened TikTok. <laughs> My I, just room. Opened, I just opened Reels to a okay. fat ass fucking bitch, bro. Holy oh. shit. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? What the heck? Holy <laughs> shit, dude. Oh. Okay, so, you know, I do like that not only do they have pickles in their sa sandwiches, they got coleslaw. They got coleslaw. It's a new addition, and I think it, it, I think it works. Facts. I'm not normally. It's it's actually kale slaw. Sorry, kale slaw is what they call it. Mm -hmm. Kale slaw. I don't know what it is. Kale, like the veggie. You mean kale, like the Dragon Ball character? Mm hmm. The Kamiyama. Mm hmm. You know, fun fact. A lot of Saiyans in Dragon Ball are named after vegetables. Yeah. Yeah. You know, kale, kale Khalifa, yeah. Goku, Vegeta. Why? I don't know. I think it's just the creator. Is like, there one that's called Carrot? Kakarot. Oh my god. Goku's, that's Goku's real name. Yeah. That's crazy. Goku's real name is Kakarot. I did not know that. Vegeta, you know, vegetable. I mean, I don't know if it's actually vegetable like that's related to, but Khalifa. Which is yeah, cauliflower, right. kale, like the vegetable. Broly, Bro apple. Broly, like, I don't know what broly would be. So, Broccoli? Yeah, maybe. And then there's, um, what's his name? I forgot his name. Uh, Yamcha? Yamcha's is, he's a human. Oh. Um, who's that? Kaba. Kaba cabbage. Kaba, what? Yeah. Is it really? Yeah. No, the Saiyans are after, Saiyans names are yeah, in Dragon you, Ball are, are named after vegetables. The, the more man, Oh, and then the no, no, there's a character named Whis, whiskey, Beerus, beer. You know. So yeah. Well, the more you know. Mhm. Mm yeah. He's into vegetables and beer, <laughs> or alcohol. <laughs> alcohol. That's a weird combo if you think about it. At least he's healthy. <laughs> he's balancing it out. Semi healthy. <laughs> it's a like balance. imagine you eat veggies on the daily and then you also drink alcohol. You must be the most That's neutral. That's kind of like canceling dude. out, like, you know, like yeah. canceling. You must be the most neutral dude imaginable. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Wow. This food is amazing. Facts. I can't lie. This is a. This food is fantastic. God is good. God is good. Blessing us with good God food. God is good. God did. Facts. God did. Ugh. Why is it so hard in here, bro? <laughs> Let me just turn on, yeah, don't turn on the AC. <laughs> bro, I'm sweating just eating. 
is having a good time, man. Having a good time while sweating is crazy. Oh yes. Well, isn't that what sex is? <laughs> he said it, not me. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. That's not no man, not. All right, nice. so let's pick a random topic. Stop. Random ass up. Ran, ran, random topic. All right, hold on, hold on. I got a text. All right. Who's your favorite porn star? Okay, bro. Oh, uh, do we want to answer that? <laughs> like, are we can give me a PG thirteen? Like, no, we can answer. Um. Um. um favorite um. Actress. Actor. Danielle Pennebaker. Or Candace Patton. Uh, actors from the Flash TV show. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Minus Skyfree. Oh, you're, so not, not, you're so basic. You're so basic. <laughs> Athena He's Forrest. an actor, bro. <laughs> Athena Forrest. That's a classic. That's a very classic. Yeah. I think so. <sighs> bro, this man's speaking like he's part of the mukbang. Bro, this man. Okay. We were in line for Dave's hot chicken, right? Oh. <laughs> you get Marty's me. like, oh, I'm good. And I'm like, well, I'm not hungry. I'm not going to eat. Well, what's the point then? Because we're doing a mukbang, right? We get the order 10 minutes later. We have the idea that he's going to do the mukbang with us. Right. So he didn't get food. 10 minutes later, we got the food. We get into the car. We drive. Two minutes. No, a minute into the car. Yeah. He's like, like, he's like, oh, I'm hungry. I was going to McDonald's. He's like, can we actually get McDonald's? Like, please, like, Dave's Hot Chicken is too expensive for me. Like, I'm just like, bro, we were literally at Dave's Hot Chicken, bro. We literally got something with us. We told you we were going to do a mukbang. Fuck Dave's. <laughs> what yeah. did Dave's do to you? What did Dave's do to you? Yeah. Fuck Dave, bro. For what? Whoever Dave's is, you got some good food, bro. Yeah. Dave knows how to cook. Fuck. He must be really handsome. Like, peep their napkins, by the way. It's kind of cool. It is. There's a bunch of inspirational words on it. Thanks. All fries on me. All eyes on me. You ain't got a fry to kick it. Dave's hot chicken. Yep. There's a, there's a lot of inspirational words to this. I don't, I don't like. I don't want to get spicy. I don't want to get spicy food from this place. I'm, I'm a you don't? I don't want to get spicy food. Try this one. No. This no, isn't no, no, insanely no, no. spicy. What is yours? It's. Medium. Mine's Mark. light, mild. I don't want like anything spicy. Like, I've been having spicy ramen for the lot for like two for like a week now. Not every day, but like, kind of, like kind of like other every other day. He's been ruining his intestine. Yeah. You wanna try the mac and cheese, big guy? I'm trying. I'll, I'm done. This isn't gay, by the way. <laughs> like, I'm not. Okay, he had to clarify that, bro. Like, yeah, we're using the same fork. But like, I'm not gonna touch the fork. <laughs> Type shit. Yeah, you, you got like half of them. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I didn't touch it. <laughs> Listen, food is good. I know I'll be calling you fast sometimes, but food is good. Of course, of course. Oh, whoa, whoa, I gotta get another pickle in. <laughs> pickle. Oh pickle God. and chicken sauce, bro. <laughs> bro, that's the only way I'll eat it good, bro. <laughs> I gotta add some flavor on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, true, true, true. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. DT, DT, DT. What does DT stand for? Downtown, 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 downtown. I'm struggling to breathe right now just from the. I'm just. Just from the overwhelming flavor from the <laughs> chicken. Downtown, downtown. The 13 herbs and spices got nothing Listen, on this. I'm really just blessed right now. Right We're right? both blessed right now. Right we live in a good apartment, we have good food. You know, we're getting, we're getting stuff set up. Look, look how beautiful that is. In the background, nice background, like. But yeah, facts. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's a. We are blessed right now. Yeah, we are. Dave's got chickens open. Korean barbecue's open soon. What do you think is better, raisin canes or Dave's hot chicken? I want to hear your side on it because I already have an answer. So, I have had raisin canes like one time, maybe twice. Yeah. I like it. I like their sauce, but Dave's hot chicken is rubbing off on me. Oh yeah. Like, 
Bro. I'm not saying that. Just bedroom. Bedroom. <laughs> bedroom. Bedroom. Go. You didn't. You didn't get any food. Go. He, dude, he wanted McDonald's, by the way. He's like, oh, <laughs> let me get McDonald's. Like, bro, that's McDonald's. But like, um, raising kids is good. Taste hot chicken. I don't know what it is about it, but it's like different. And you know me, I like different. <clears throat> different. I was like, like the unusual. I think the only thing that Raising Cane's has is the sauce. Ooh, yeah, I don't that's, think that's raisin, bars. I don't think Raising Cane's is all that. You don't think so? No, sir. I think it's good. I think it's really good, but I think it's... it's they just, do have, yeah. like... What would you say has more of a variety? Raising Cane's or Dan Sashi? Raising Cane's. Yeah, I would say Raising Cane's has a lot more variety. But I don't know what it is about Dave's Hot Chicken that's just really good. Mm -hmm. I don't know, is it because it's just my first time having it? Like second time, first time? Yeah, I just think it's good in general. That is really, yeah. The flavor is good. Point. Especially the sauce. Yeah. Yeah. Like I remember, the, I can kind of vaguely remember the taste of Dave's, um, not Dave's, um, Raising Cane sauce. But it's different from Dave's sauce. That it's sounds weird. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! 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 No, I think the only thing that Raisin Cane's has, if Raisin Cane's didn't have the Raisin Cane sauce, I don't think it would be as popular as it is. That's a good point. How, who really talks about... Oh, like, think like, about it, I think like a lot of taste. restaurants are just known for their sauce. Mm. Raisin Cane's, Chick-fil-A, Chick -A, Dave's. Dave's, yep. There's no McDonald's sauce. There's Big no Mac sauce. Big Mac sauce goes I've crazy. not had that. Is that good? Yeah, it's, it goes crazy, yeah. Dang, I should try that. And I think... No, because no one really talks about the whole, like... The raisin canes. Oh, like oh, the raisin canes chicken. It's so good. Like every every single time you bring up raisin cane sauce, everyone goes like everyone goes like the sauce. Oh, the yeah, sauce. Yeah, they get gas, right? Like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The sauce. That's I'm the not gonna lie. Chick Fil A sauce hits hard though. Very, very, very hard. It's good. It's really good. And raisin canes kind of goes for like a more creamier style of it. I think it's good. No diddy though. No, no <laughs> diddy, of course. But Chick Fil A sauce, that's something else. Facts. That's 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 good stuff right there, and uh, I'm a big supporter of the raisin. Kids. I don't. I'm not actually regretting going to Dave's Hot Chicken two days in a row. No. This this really it hits hard. No, and it because it it's just I don't know what it is. It's just. I think it's also kind of like the novelty of it since like oh it, it just opened, but I feel like. I mean, even though I feel like I would still go there. I would still I would still go to Dave's Hot Chicken all the time. Like it's gotta be one of my go-to like chicken places. Do you? What do you think about Slim Chickens? Not Slim the boxer, but Slim, you know, Slim, slim Albert. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, mean, I think it's good, but it's, it's like not all. Now bad. it's not not nowadays. Nowadays it's not my first option. No, no, it's never been my first option anyway. Yeah. Because I I feel like I feel like they're just they're just a knockoff knockoff BFW or B BWW Buffalo Wings. You actually went to your bed. I didn't realize that. <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, Marty, I don't know. Can you see? I think you can see. I think it. you can. I like, think you can. It's yeah. right there. Yeah. He went to my bed, but I just don't think it's it's that. It's all that. You know what I'm saying? I gotta ask my friend here really quickly a, a good topic. Um, um, random, random topic. Um, good topic. What are your thoughts about? I don't know if you heard about the Olympics, but the women's boxing Olympics is like, they've been like, there was a woman who was like forced to fight a guy. Did you hear about that? Yeah, that's... That's messed up. That's really messed up. And I'm not just saying that because like, like for whatever reason, but like men, like women should not be forced to be put in fights with men. There's a reason no. why women get separated. Exactly. Women, you know? It's... It's just be like anything. You anything com physical. Women is a compete problem. against women. Men compete against men. Yeah, anything physical should like, not be. Like the guy or whoever they are. Do you think they feel some side of like some regret of like them being put against a woman? Like obviously we can't speak for them, but like in your shoes, I would just be thinking like, dang, I can't do this. I can't be like. I can't remorse. get, I can't get, I can't get matched. Like obviously, I've done fights, but if there was ever a chance or opportunity, like moment where I just there was a woman in front of me, I'd be like, I can't do this. It's See, obviously wrong. You also got to think about it as like, 
like they're transitioning into a woman, right? Even though they're like biologically a man, like they're yeah. transitioning into a woman, so they're thinking like a woman. Yeah, so they're just like, so oh, you know what? I don't really care. And that's the messed up part, cause like, you really think you could just go to another gender sport and just compete in there? Anything physical? That's a no. no that's no. a no, no. No. Like, like that's trending all over Twitter, and it's like, do you feel proud of that? Like, imagine you did a boxing match. You get put against a woman while you're, you know, obviously not a woman, and it's like. Do you feel good that you won? Oh, me? Absolutely not. Because no. it's like... Like as much a, as... I always like... Like, I lo- anyone in this world loves winning. Absolutely. Like, no one wants to lose. But, but there's, there's this, a limit at, to it. There's though, a limit. Know? You gotta like eventually think about... Th- is it worth winning and if I'm like cheating almost? You know? that, I, don't, I don't think it's worth it. It's, it's like, not. Because it's... Like as much as, you know, like... Where's the dignity? Women's rights and everything. Yeah, like, where's the dignity? Like, know? women's rights and everything, I support that completely. However, there is still, like, you know, there's still, like, physically, like, it's physical like, capabilities. Yeah. Let's be fair here. Man, man, man. It's like man what Mike lives, Tyson right? said. You know Steroids, there's no problem with it if you're not in a combat sport. Exactly. The moment you enter a combat sport while that's a testing positive for a st- steroid, like, that's messed up. You're killing somebody. You're actually killing somebody. Yeah, because it's like the cheat well, codes. Well, there's bodybuilders who take steroids. Like they're just doing it to just look good. There's no problem with that. Right. And there's no problem in like taking steroids just to look good. But if the moment you take steroids in a physical sport where you're phys- doing physical contact, that's just the mess. That's up a problem because mm-hmm. it's it's like it's like having. Like someone, like you're facing someone in Fortnite, right? Yeah. They have a gray shotgun, and you're battling in range, and you have a you have a gold scar. Yeah. It's not fair. It really isn't. So. Yep. That's a weird analogy. Yep. But yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like, I just don't know. Like a lot of humans nowadays, they just don't have dignity. Mm. Like, what are you? Do you feel happy about like some some of the stuff you cheat about? Like. I don't know. I personally will not be. Like, I'm gonna be honest, like, my last fight was a guy against who had no fights. I wish he had more fights. It'd be more competitive. Like, I told some coworker of mine, like, my last fight was probably the most easiest fight of my of this year. True. But it's like, it's nice to have an easy fight or an easy, you know, competition. But there's times where you need to toughen yourself. You really need to challenge yourself. Exactly. And you can't do that if you're cheating. Like, re- exactly. like for realistically, like. I, but I, but I, but I know there's there's some people that like just don't have like that. They pride. just don't care. They like, just, they just like, oh, you know care. what? I yeah. won. You know what? I face Screw against it. fucking Beetlejuice. Like five. It don't matter. Like, it's a W. Four foot, four foot three. Ah, nah, that's still a W. Oh, at the end of the day. Oh, by the way. Like, oh, by the way. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, WWE Prime. And um, actually, is have it? you tried it? No. What is this like? This ain't gay, by the way. It's just, Bruh. you know. God, clarify again. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> it just tastes good. I don't know what it is. Oh. It's, doesn't it taste like Meta Moon a little bit? I think that's what it is. Really? I think I may have read somewhere where it tastes like that. Yeah. If that's just Meta Moon, bro, come on. I can see it, bro. They okay. just do the bottles, like they just make exclusive bottles, which is you know smart business move. But hey, it looked cool. It looks really nice. Yeah. He has a WWE fan, you know. Yeah, and this was um this was on SummerSlam, ladies and gentlemen. So yeah. this is when um did Logan Paul get thrown into the hydration station? I think he did. <laughs> I don't know any of that. Like I, can, yeah, like I I've I've seen a little bit of WWE, but. I've always seen like the major clips. Yeah, like the no. announcers. There's a there's a ring announcer stable too, mm-hmm. and then right next to that, they ever since they got sponsored by Prime, they have a hydration station. Oh. They have a big bottle of Prime and then like some Prime energy drinks. That's too. cool. Yeah. No, and, uh, they usually WWE, someone usually gets thrown think, in there. WWE is cool to watch. Like I had a friend back in Cali when I was young. He was so obsessed with WWE. All right, we got a couple topics from my friend here. Getting a pet. Up boxing, work, future plans. Oh, uh, we can go in order, I guess. I like that profile. Uh, getting a pet. The only pet I would probably get is a golden poodle. A, a, mal- a multi poo. So basically, it's a multi. 
no, what's that one breed that's called Maltese? Maltese. Maltese. Mal yeah. It's a Maltese and a Poodle combined, or like, breed. Those are so cute. Like, I've seen one from like, an actor who has one. A golden Mal Maltese Poodle is so, just adorable. Yeah. Obviously, we can't have pets in our apartment, which is kind of lame. Nah, that's... Do you think it's understandable or lame? That, bro, you, you don't. You don't have to follow the rules. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't gotta follow rules. No. Rules are rules are, rules are meant to be You don't broken. have to tell them. Oh, true. Like you don't have to tell them. Like you don't like true. you. I mean, like know how what? Like, is it all pets that they say? I mean, you got fishes. Yeah, uh, it's it's like like big animals. Yeah, yeah. but like even though like I w in the future, if I were to get a pet, it'd be a multi poodle or a poodle, golden poodle. Those are just so cute. I don't know what it is about that. I think I don't know. I think I've talked about this before. For me, it's a golden retriever and a corgi. Those two like types of breeds. That's yeah, a good. That's like a good one. Golden retriever. A lot of people have called me go, go, called me a little golden retriever boy. What's the next topic? Um. By the way, the person giving those topics is going to see this. <laughs> Shout out you. If you see this, what's up? Shout out you. Um, there's getting a pet, boxing, work, and future plans. Oh yeah, I mean, what's, let's talk boxing. Um, boxing, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just pick one specific topic, otherwise we would go on for like years about this. Boxing, I love the sport, man. I love the sport. I think it's a fun sport to I, watch. I think it's a fun sport to partake like, in. I've always wanted to do boxing when I was a kid. Like, I always like, thought about what it's like to do. I was just like, I remember when I watched um, in Cali, we uh, had some Filipino friends. They invited a bunch of people over to watch the Floyd Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather Pacquiao fight. Obviously, as a Filipino, we would, we would support Manny Pacquiao. Of course. I was watching it live, and I'm just like thinking, like, oh my goodness, like this is a sport, sport, you know? It's a fun sport. It, yeah. Or, or, not a fun sport, but it's, it's like a, it's a crucial sport that like. It's wow. very important. Yeah. Yeah, and I thought about doing it. I'm just like, one of these days, I should try it. Like I was really young at the time. I didn't, and then obviously, you know, I, I ended up trying it and I'm just like, well, I got into it. I got fights now. It's just like, keep training it every day. And it's like, it's... See, that's the thing about like... Oh, I need more Dave, Dave sauce, bro. That's the thing about like Manny Pacquiao fights is like, if you guys know, like, if you live in the Philippines and stuff, if you've lived in the Philippines, every time there's a Manny Pacquiao fight, all the streets are empty. Oh yeah! All the streets are oh, empty, yeah. bro. <laughs> Everyone's at their house or like Watching someone's that. house. Like there's a big like thirty people gathering. It's crazy. Like it's it's honestly world. It's 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 country peace. Mm -hmm. Every time there's a Manny Pacquiao fight, because everyone just wants to see the just, boy win. They just want to watch him and support him. Yeah, and it's crazy. One hundred and fifty million people just glue them on the screen. If you're at work, you'll see if there's a TV watching. There's a TV there. It's usually on a Sunday, so you know it's all good. But oh yeah, because day ahead, you yeah. know. Uh, if, if you don't have work, bro, you're gonna you're gonna have a party. Yeah. If you're if you're in a jeepney and the, or no, if you're in a if you're in a taxi, there's a little screen. Mad backup fights on there. Oh, that's a oh yeah. my god! Every single time, or someone's on their phone, they're like, oh, that's. Yeah, Manny Pacquiao honestly like, was one of the one boxers that made me like. Get it, like get inspired to do it. And honestly, I'm not gonna lie, YouTube boxing really tried to inspire me. Like when YouTube I saw boxing, when I yeah. first saw that, I was like, I should try this. Like it, like them two, Manny Pacquiao, YouTube boxing, really made me like go out and actually try it. Cause it shows that like with the YouTube boxing, it shows that any normal person can. Yeah. Do it. Like you don't have to be like this. And then, like obviously like Manny or... Pacquiao is just he's a he's a good character. Yeah, he's you know, just like, a man of like he's just a man of integrity. You know facts. what I'm saying? And then, I don't know, I think it's just a great sport all around. With that Floyd Mayweather Pacquiao fight, like, a lot of people be like, yeah, I wanted Pacquiao to win. Like, I thought I saw Pacquiao win. And I'm like 50 50 on it now that I've watched the fight a couple of times. Like, I could, you could argue both won. Well, or so. any of them won. Like, and the fact I was that rooting it, for Manny. He was injured, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. Yeah. I was rooting for Manny, and I thought he won the fight, but I could argue, you could argue Floyd won the fight. Because. There's no doubt Floyd's the best in the world. Oh yeah. yeah there's no doubt. That's, even to this day, to even, to, to, even to this day, if he went to welterweight, he'd give a lot of people a run for their money. Easy. Even now at his age? Oh. Yeah. Because um, that defense is unbreakable. Bro. I, my, I, wanna, I wanna go see my friends, dude. 
We're gonna go see your friends. Oh, no, Jesus Christ. All right, we're gonna cut it right here. Uh, we're gonna Back go to downtown here soon. Work and future plans, all right? I just want to hear yours because you already know about mine, and he watches the video, so he already knows. Yeah, work. This, this, this part's mean, gonna be on. This is this this is on the spot. I told for you. I told my friends. I told my mom. Like I, I when you talk to my mom about this, but I don't want to be in my current job for very long. Eventually, by next summer, like obviously I got time off schedule for the end of this year. Sure. But eventually next year I would, I'll be like there by for like three years. It's a long time, but I'm kind of getting sick of it. And it's like, not sick of it. Yeah, sick of it. But also, it's like, I want to almost experience something else. There's not... Yeah, I always it, like learning it, new things. Because it's not fulfilling, is it? That too, but it's like, I always like learning new things. Yeah. I always like trying different things, and it's like, well, sometimes, you know. Well, when it comes to a career, like, yeah, I'm down to try something new. But, I don't know, it's like, it pays decently well. I just don't like the long hours. My dream is to get, like, eight-hour shifts. Mm. If I can get eight hour shifts, I think I told you what my schedule would be if I worked at like your time, mm. like seven thirty, seven a.m. Yep. yep. I'd go for like early morning runs before work, yep. and then work out later in the day. This is when I would be in camp for like my fights next yep. year, when I prepare for my fights next year. This that would be my schedule. Like I go for early morning morning early morning runs, not very long, and then like go to work, do eight hour shifts, and then rest, come back, eat, and then train again. That's yeah. like what a perfect schedule would be for if I'm like training for big fights next year. And it's Bell. like, I can't get that with this job. Sure. Hell, like, hell no. Sure. And yeah, like, it's 5 30 to 3 30. Yeah. Sucks. Like 10 hours. And that's like, I'd like to do something different. One that pays more but worth less hours. Obviously, that's hard to find. But if I can find one, perfect. But I don't know. Future plans just kind of rolling, rolling. Just rolling with everything. Rolling with the punches. Yeah. It's all ooh, it is. Ooh, ooh. Type, type of thing. And then, yeah, that's your future plans mm -hmm. of work, technically. I mean, like... Yeah, you banged it. Banged both of it. Yeah. I mean, yeah. That's... Like... I kind of, like... Like, when I told my mom about, like, stuff we were talking, like... The reason why she, like... I feel like... I don't know how to feel about this, because, like... There's a reason, like, my mom told me the reason why she does her side business. She does it for me. Cool. She wants me to like, you know, she wants to pass it on to me. And I'm just like, well, first of all, I'm not good with business. I've never been good with business. And I, I feel like I will try to learn for sure. But as of right now, I'm just like, I can't be focused on it. Sure. So it's like, I feel bad because my mom, like, cares for me so much. She has this whole legacy plan for me. Right. And, and I want to eventually, and eventually, I, and eventually I like, I want to fulfill it. And I don't but, think it's going to be in the next, like, even five years. Sure. It's yeah. gonna be a while from now. Mm -hmm. So she's and pretty, by then, she's moving pretty fast with that thing though. Yeah. Oh. And then if and if that builds up really hard, like bro, it's like work for you. Well if if it gets to if it gets really big, yeah, then and you're the head the, like the head honcho, you might like you might have to sell the business if it gets too crazy. Yeah. But <clears throat> I don't so, know, I think there's just more than more than there's more to life than just money. Money's good. We all want money. Like we all want to work and you know save up, go on trips, buy the stuff we want. That's the American dream, really. It's really, just, <laughs> but it's like, like for me, American I want, excitement. I want to, I want the. My goal is to have something to enjoy, for a lifestyle. You know, that could be money, but I just like there's more. Like I want to be able to do things. Go out. Money's a good start though because it, it starts. It gives it's you like, like a, a foundation. You know? That is yeah, a big kinda, foundation. It, it's 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 so sad to hear. Time that. is you money. You kind of need it. Yeah, you, you do need money. Time is money. Facts. But well, I think uh, we're gonna go for thirty minutes. I think we can wrap this up now. Yeah, good luck. Man. I think that's I'm gonna eat my last pickle. That's the last. I don't pickle. like pickles, but I'm gonna eat them. He likes it. He likes I like it, it from the, Dave's. The Dave's hot chickens dip. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching this video. It's been a different, been a different one. It's been a while since Christian has been on the channel, but you know what? Always good to have him here because, God damn it, he's my roommate. So, <laughs> um, yes, boys. Thank you so much for watching this Dave's Hot Chicken uh, mukbang. We're gonna have a, we're gonna have a good time now, responsibly, of course. Of course. You already know that. By the way. Maybe uh, eat some more food later. Oh, that that ain't, that's not a maybe, sir. That oh, a, that's a for sure. Absolutely.
All right, good night. Uh, good night. Oh, Shout out to you, boys and girls. We don't discriminate. Boys and girls. Shout out to uh, the lady that gave me the ideas. You know who you are. You know who you are. By the way, thank you so much for watching. Turn around. Now I got Options, begging me to go, but I tell her to stop it. Always got the key, and my heart is the lock it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like a pro, but you're really a novice.